Hi, it's uh, Daniel Brown, and um, I'd like to discuss um, some advantages of log returns or returns using the natural log as opposed to returns using percentages. So I'm going to look at some Morgan Stanley data. If I go to the web on Yahoo Finance, I've got some historical data. Um, I downloaded that earlier. And so let's look at that in Excel. So if I go to data from text CSV, downloads, I can look at my Morgan Stanley data. This data is in a CSV, comma separated values. And this is my data. I'm going to load it into my spreadsheet. The nice thing in newer versions of Excel is it comes into a table. Um, if it doesn't, you can create a table for it. So let me just format this data so we can look at it more easily. So I'm going to format these as comma. I'll we'll format the volumes as comma zero, so no numbers off the decimal place. Um, so there's my data. All right, so on, I'm going to look at the adjusted close. The adjusted close is the closing price of Morgan Stanley adjusted for any dividends. And you can see right now these are the same, but if you go back a little bit, let's see, on the 29th of January, it looks like there was a 30 cent dividend. So you will see before the 29th of January, the adjusted close and the close are slightly different. Okay, so I want to calculate the percent return. Percent return, this will be the daily percent return, and the way we calculate that is today's closing price minus yesterday's closing price divided by yesterday's closing price. Uh, there isn't one for the first day, so I'm going to delete that. And I would like to format this. Um, oh, there's only a percent with no decimal places, so I am going to duplicate this style. I'm going to call it percent two format, two decimal places. Okay, okay. And let's format these percent returns with the percent two format. Now, if you look at these numbers, these are the numbers that you would hear talked about in the financial news. So somebody might say, Morgan Stanley had a great day today because of something, and they are up 3%. And when they say 3%, they're saying the return from yesterday to today is 3%. Okay, we can also calculate what I would call the log return, which is really the natural log return. And this is computed using natural log of today's closing divided by yesterday's closing. Again, we don't have the number for the first date. And we'll format that with our percent two style. And you can see that these numbers are pretty similar. They're not exactly the same, but the 3% is like the 2.95. The negative 1.14 is like the negative 1.15 and so on. So these numbers are somewhat interchangeable. No one talks about log returns in the press because no one wants to explain what the natural log function is. Okay, so let me show you a, an advantage of log returns is the following. Let's say I wanted to know the percent return, but not the one day percent return, but the two day percent return. I have to take today's adjusted close minus the adjusted close from two days ago divided by the adjusted close from two days ago. Let's copy that down. Let's format that properly. And those are my percent returns. Alternatively, I want to calculate my log return today. And here, I'm just going to simply add first two days are wrong, I'm just going to simply add the log, the one day log returns. And this is a really nice feature. 
if I want the one week log returns, I take the log, the daily log returns and I add them up. Once I've calculated the one day log returns, I don't need to do any more calculations. I don't actually need my original data anymore. I can just add and subtract. And this is probably one of the very nice mathematical features of log returns as opposed to percent returns. In the grand scheme of the numbers, it really doesn't matter. The 3% is pretty close to the 2.95%. But in terms of the mathematics, it's a little easier to work with log returns than it is two-day returns. I'd like to finish by at least demonstrating this, log re this feature of log returns. So I'm going to write out the math for you. So imagine we have three days of data, x1, x2, and x3. Our one day log returns, there are two of them, is going to be the natural log of x2 over x1, and the second day is the natural log of x3 over x2. Now the two day, log return should be the natural log of x3 divided by x1. So let me demonstrate that the sum of the one day log returns is the same as the two day log return. So let's start with the natural log of x2 divided by x1 plus the natural log of x3 divided by x2. Well, if I have the sum of two natural logs, it is the natural log of the product. So we have the natural log of x2 over x1 times x3 over x2. We multiply this out and we end up with the natural log of x3 over x1, which is what we expected. I will leave it to you if you are interested to verify that this does not work for percent returns, um, it's easy to check that by simply taking the data and seeing that it does not work.